The tier 4 legislation targets to regulate microfinance institutions and bring accountability and security to public funds deposited to microfinance institutions by creating a framework for microfinance deposit-taking institutions. The bill was drafted in 2002 and it has overstayed in finance ministry for more than 10 years. A delay, microfinance state minister Caroline Akao says, was as a result of legislative procedures. This law is supposed to, is going to repeal the Money Lenders Act, which has also got its own problems, as you're all aware. You've seen our people losing property. We've seen them running to money lenders. Some of them uh, mortgage this property even when the date for payment is not due. So Ugandans have gone through a lot of problems, and uh, this law is to cure that problem. Key provisions in the legislation is a move to protect customers from financial institutions, especially those seeking for loans, as it puts clear the security required on a loan, as well as action to be taken in case of closure to safeguard customers' deposits. Government now warns that microfinance institutions that fail to honor the provisions risk closure. The circles are all governed or are all under the, 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 the Cooperatives Act, which is also actually in, in cabinet for, for amendment. And this act has loopholes, has gaps. That's why we are seeing all these uh, problems happening in the microfinance sector, especially in the circles. Microfinance institutions have been emerging from nowhere. And in the end, some people don't have uh, professional ethics in what they are doing. And when it comes in effect, it means all the, the MFIs that are in the, in, the, in the industry, they will be following the code of conduct. There will be a body that will be regulating them. The same way central bank regulates the commercial banks. This was revealed during the awarding ceremony of the best entrepreneurs in Uganda by Citibank in an annual City Micro Entrepreneurship Awards. It always inspires me when you see somebody who's borrowed 300,000 shillings, then they grow the business, they borrow a million shillings, then five million shillings. They build a big business. You see people who are building houses, training children. That's a very inspiring story, okay? And, and that's what gets, up, gets us up in the morning, trying to get approval again to continue to do this. And Financial institutions in Uganda have been regulated by two major laws, the Financial Institution Statute of 1993 and the Bank of Uganda Statute of 1993. The Act is designed to regulate commercial banks, insurance companies and credit institutions that are not reorganized by the Act. Currently, microfinance institutions are registered and regulated as companies limited by guarantees and non-governmental organizations. Kenneth Buire. WBS News.